Hello, everybody. Mark Kep, campgroundviews.com. And today I've got the number two most searched RV parking campground on campgroundviews.com for January 2022. And like our number one location, this is also a brand new RV resort. In fact, unlike it's not on the east coast of the United States, it's located on the west coast of the United States in a very unique location. I'm very familiar with this area. It's near Pismo Beach is a very popular area for RVing and camping. This is actually located at Avila Beach, which you probably may not have heard of unless you're from Southern California, Central California coast. And my guest today is Lathan Ford from uh, Flying Flags Avila Beach RV Resort. Lathan, thank you for joining me today. Yeah, thanks for having me. So this location is brand new, just opening. Describe to us what it is and what makes it special. Yeah, so we actually just opened back in October. So brand new to this location, but we are a part of a, a larger corporation. So we do have our Flying Flags uh, Buellton property, which a good amount of people are pretty familiar with. Um, but we're right based in the central, uh, central coast in between San Francisco and LA, a little hidden beach town. Um, on our RV resort, we're about 40 acres, uh, not fully built yet. So we're still working on a few things that'll be coming over the next couple of years. But as of right now, we do offer both uh, full hookup RV, dry camping, car tent camping, walk-in tent camping, and we have what we call our couples cottages. Um, I would say probably one thing that's a little bit unseen in our area, especially with the full hookup RVs, is that outside of your normal, you know, you have your power hookups and your sewage and your water and your cable, but we also have uh, high fiber ethernet plugged in. If you need to work from a distance, you can plug in hardwire in and not just use Wi-Fi. Wow. And then a natural gas propane fire pit at all of our full hookup and cottage locations, which is super nice. Um, we try to do our part being a non-fire property. So we don't do any um, wood burning or, or charcoal burning or, or smoking on property, but you do have that, that propane fire pit that's really nice, uh, super convenient, and it looks awesome. And so Avila Beach, um, there's a history in this area. So it's, it's near San Luis Obispo, but it was it used to be like a working town, really. There was a bunch of offshore oil rigs, and they used they they would bring this in. So it's basically an oil town that um that back uh, when was it, Lathan? In, in the in the sixties or the fifties, back back in time, um, the oil company actually cleaned up the mess that was there and created this very unique um, beachside town. It, it is incredibly unique, and traditionally, the only RV camping that existed in this town was some city run campsites kind of along the ocean's front. They weren't anything fancy, but it was still a very unique location. So you guys were able to build an RV resort on a bay in a unique location in California. None of that was easy. I'm sure I could, we could only, we could probably have conversations all day long about what the, the process has been like to build that. So obviously the vision is there and the guests are there for this location. If I'm coming to Avila Beach for the very first time in my life, I, I saw this video, I heard it's a hot spot, I got a book and I'm coming there. What can I expect to do from that campsite there at your location? Yeah, um, so like you hit, you hit on the nail on the head, we do have a very rich history here and we do like to keep as much of that educational component part of our property's experience. And so we work with all of our local businesses and just like you said, we were an oil town. There actually was train tracks that uh, used to go right past where our resort is and went straight out. Um, to parts of the, the pier that are actually no longer even um, there. Um, but if you're coming to our property, I mean, you definitely can look for a relaxed uh, vacation, a true getaway, you know, turn off your phone if you'd like, listen to ocean waves. You can definitely hear the seals barking uh, throughout the day. Um, we're not necessarily a, a surf town, I'd say, as a surfer myself, but definitely if you're looking for a relaxed beach where you can run around and actually enjoy some, some mellow waves, stand up paddle boarding, kayaking, um, there's a local company that you could walk right down the street and rent kayaks and paddle boards uh, from and enjoy going back and forth in the bay. You can go around to the lighthouse. They have uh, private tours up there, and it's it's awesome. I've taken my team to do it. The history of the Chumash is here. Um, we have an aquarium right down the street that you can take your family to and check out. Um, so there's, there is a good amount of things and activities to do, but I'd say we're a very active town. Um, so within the property, I'd say you come here, you relax, you enjoy a beautiful sunrise and sunset. Um, you know, you have your fire pit there. We do live music on the weekends. And like I mentioned, we'll be building a lot more in the future. Um, but we're an active location where if you're looking for good hiking, uh, if you're looking to golf, we have a golf course right down the street from us that we've partnered with. 
Um, so we're definitely an outdoor location where you can go discover basically our local history. Yeah, and there's even a, a paved bike trail that that leads from here out towards basically the Highway 101, and then from there you can go down to um, Pismo Beach area. Or you know, if you're really if you're really in shape, you can wind your way over to San Luis Obispo. And if you're if you're in really good shape, there's actually some amazing road rides up in the mountains above here, um, above San Luis Obispo, and so forth. So really, this is a very, you know, and, and we'll be clear, these are not promotional. They're not paying us for this. These are, this is the number two most searched location at campgroundviews.com. So we figured we'd reach out and do a little video for you all to give you ideas if you have never heard of this location. This is a bucket list RV resort. This will be one of those places that everybody who owns an RV who's traveling will go to because they'll be like, hey, you, you've got to stay there. It's an amazing location. Yeah, we're, we are very, very uh, generational in our local history here. So like I, like I was mentioned to you earlier, Mark, myself, I'm from the area. My family's been born and raised here. So uh, we definitely pride ourselves on supporting local and, and inviting the locals up as well to enjoy the views here are, are just out of this world. So a lot yeah, of times yeah. you'll see a good amount of them coming up with a glass of wine and just watching the sunset. Well, this photo, we're on the Instagram. So it's Instagram, Flying Flags, Avila. Um, they have a website right now. It's basically a landing page. They're working on their website. This is brand new. They, this literally is just opening now. So they're working on their website right now. Um, we have information on them at Campground Views, but you can link over and, and go ahead and start booking these. And I, I would imagine right now you're probably, how full are you just today right now? So we're, we are pretty close to sold out every day. Um, so that's one thing about our property. Our sister properties do a lot of weekend business. Um, they're definitely a family destination. With ours, like I mentioned, we do get a lot of uh, long stay guests. So uh, you can come. The maximum you could stay with us is 21 days before you'd have to leave and come back, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but right now, yeah, really Sunday through Saturday, we are, we are pretty booked out until the summertime. So you can find some little pockets of stay here and there. Uh, best way when you're checking on our website there would be to check the, the view availability calendar so you can actually see what days are already taken up and which ones might have some um, locations available. But yeah, we're, we're, we're looking into the summertime. Yeah, and, and this goes to the point. This is, it, the locals in California know this place exists. A lot of them have been waiting patiently for it to open. So it, there's, there's significant demand in this area. It's near Pismo Beach. If, if you're not from, from the region, Pismo Beach has always been a hot spot for RVing. There's some beautiful RV resorts in that area too. So there's a lot of choices in this general region. Um, saying you're booking up now for summer, how far out can people book? Um, do you take them out a year in advance or how far out can they do it? Yeah, so you can book about a year in advance. Um, right now, the, the furthest out reservation I've personally seen is about March of 2023. Wow. Uh, and a lot of people are, are kind of choosing this destination, not only because the view is immaculate, but um, we are one of the only dog-friendly beaches on the Central Coast. So if you're traveling with, you know, your fur kids, uh, you can walk right across the street and we do have a dog-friendly off-leash um, beach. So that's been a big draw for a lot of people as well. And Flying Flags, you, you've, you've mentioned the other resort. Let's, let's go ahead and, and talk about that one a little bit more because some folks may be familiar with that. And the background on the other resort is um, Highway West, um, I don't know, purchased it or took over management of that property. It had some new owners, I think, and they really cleaned it up and started operating it at a much higher level. And it went from being just kind of this roadside RV park into an RV destination in the region, which then led to this, this RV park. So, so talk a little bit more about that other location because it's, it's a very viable option if this one happens to be full. The other one's as nice, so you're not missing out on anything. Um, go ahead and plug that one a little bit. Yeah, so we do have uh, Flying Flags uh, Buellton as well, right off of the Avenue of the Flags. Um, but just like you you mentioned, we did acquire that property, I want to say back in 2013, and did a major overhaul to where, you know, the Fowlers just figured if we're, if we're going to take over this property, we're going to make it the best and most beautiful property that we possibly can. So they did a major revamp. They have um, multiple stays of cottages, much larger than ours here. So ours are more designed for couples. Theirs are very family friendly. It's basically a tiny house with a full kitchen, so you can stay there. Um, and experience a lot of different stays. They have safari tents, they have our jupes, they have full hookups, pull through and back in, um, you know, swimming pools in place, a large clubhouse, you can have weddings there, uh, they have bocce ball. So they have a ton, a ton of options. Some things that we look forward to having here at our property in the future, but right now, if you're looking for a, a good getaway in that Buellton solving area, family friendly, you have wineries nearby, you're close to Santa Barbara, um, so it's a really nice little additional destination that some people may not know exists. 
Exactly. And you are currently recording this in one of your cabins. So let's, uh, let's do this. Let's, let's, we'll show people without, we don't even have to sell the resort. Th these images alone will sell it for you. So let's do a little spin around and show the view that you have in this, in this cabin you're currently rec recording in. Yeah. Yeah. So let me, I'm going to pick up my laptop. I apologize that it's, it's a laptop top computer, but I'll kind of walk you around and show you the unit that I'm currently in is our cottage number one. Um, it is an ADA compliant cottage. So we do have a roll-in shower and bench seats, a little bit different than some of the other cottages, but for the most part, they are copy paste. Uh, so I'm gonna pick you up here and we'll, and we'll move you around. So you can see in here, I'm gonna move my chair out of the way. You have a living space, you have your couch there. Uh, not quite a kitchenette, but similar. You have a very large um, mini fridge, an espresso, water kettle, some wine glasses. So things you need to relax. Um, you have your fridge there. I'm going to save the view for last because it's beautiful. And are we on your Wi-Fi or are you hardwired in? You're on my Wi-Fi. So, so th this is around. just an example of the connectivity available at this park that he's uh, got Wi-Fi inside the cabin streaming okay. to us now. That's the room here. You have your queen size bed, some end tables, a uh, little closet and dressing bench, hmm. some uh, robes to relax in, a dehumidifier because we are by the ocean. So, you know, we do have some moisture in the air. In case you need to pull that out. Um, restrooms, like I mentioned, this is our ADA restroom. So you do have a roll in shower there and a bench seat. We do all luxury brand um, amenities as far as the shampoo, soap, conditioner. So I really want this to feel like a luxury getaway and not just your average uh, beach cottage at an RV resort. Uh, and then the, the view here, this is, this is what everybody comes for. So you have a really nice extended patio, a couple of seats, and we'll be adding some more out here. So you got some uh, chairs to relax in over there, the ocean view, you probably hear a little bit of wind, so you may not be able to hear me. Uh, and then you have some more seats here, and the propane fire pit, hopefully you can see that if I'm aiming correctly. But uh, that guy is nice, it works with a timer, so you can set that for a couple hours. You start it just like a patio heater and you're good. Real fast, can you show us those RV sites back where we can see them around the corner there real fast? Yep, yep. so up on the hillside behind me, you'll see uh, this one there, that's our deluxe tier. So that's the very first terrace. And it does go up three terraces. So that top third tier, you actually can't see from here, um, but I can drive you up there and show you some views, definitely. <laughs> But we gotta. So, like I said, we we you were the number two most requested campground virtual tour. So we we'll have to see about doing that. Maybe give some people some some of those exposures too. That is an absolutely beautiful cabin. And you know, there's there's been some developments in, in California. This is one of them that are really setting the bar for RV resort developments in, in, in the United States as a whole. I know there's a lot of developers who are now modeling what you've done both at Flying Flags and now this resort and up with Sun and their um, Paso Robles um, uh, resorts. These are places that if you wanna see where our industry is going, you wanna go visit them. And if you wanna go see some of the most amazing RV resorts, here it is. So, and clearly you're interested in it. It's the number two most searched one at campgroundviews.com and you know, go check it out. It's um, Flying Flags. Avila Beach. If you want to get more information and, and discover more, go to campgroundviews.com and look for us or go to highwaywestvacations.com. That's highwaywestvacations.com. Cool thing about them is they have a number of RV resorts all up and down the Western United States. So you can find other destinations and actually plan your entire trip through that one portal. So Lathan, we appreciate the tour of the resort. Congratulations too. It's it's quite a, a task to complete that. And I'm sure folks watching this are excited to learn more. Is there a phone number if they want to just call you and start seeing when they can book, where should they reach you at? Yeah, definitely. We do try to plug in as many people as possible to the website um, because we are a new property and a smaller team. And we, we really do average about four to 500 calls a day. Uh, <laughs> so they can call us at 805-888-0158. So don't call that number at all. Go to highwaywestvacations.com and click on the book now button because we don't want you calling because they're busy. So you, look forward to call. <laughs> you might just have to leave a voicemail. We definitely want to help those that maybe are not so uh, computer savvy like a lot of us were. Cool. Well, thank you, Lathan, for joining us. Everybody, that is your tour of the park. And let us know if you like these videos. We'll, we'll keep watching as the season goes along and see what the most popular parks are at any given time. Uh, this park is number two in January 2022, and we'll see, we'll see what happens next year. So thank you for your time today, Lathan. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for reaching out.